Hello and thank you for watching this Dawson Tools instructional video on the DSM-155 LED light meter. Let's take a look at some of the features of this meter. To begin, remove the sensor cover and press the power button to turn the meter on. The display shows the measured luminance of the environment the meter is currently in. The default unit of luminance is Lux. To switch to foot candles, press the LXFC CD button and the display will show the measured luminance in foot candles. Press the button again to switch back to Lux. Light intensity is the measurement of the amount of power emitted by a light source in a particular direction. To measure the intensity of the light source, hold the LXFC CD button. The display shows the currently selected distance. To switch between feet and meters, press the range button. To adjust the distance, press the relative peak or hold zero buttons to adjust the distance value. Once the desired distance is set, press the LXFC CD button and the display will show the measured intensity in candela. The DSM-155's photosensor is calibrated to work on a variety of different light sources. In addition to standard incandescent lighting, the meter can be calibrated to work with different LED light sources. The default setting is standard lighting. To change the light source, hold the Max Min LS button. The light source indicator right above the main display shows the currently selected light source. Pressing the relative peak and hold zero buttons will adjust the light source selection. The meter comes preset with seven different light source settings and three extras for manual setting. All the presets can be adjusted. However, it's recommended you keep the first seven as is and just use the last three to make manual settings. To adjust the presets value, select the desired preset and press the range button. The presets value will flash and you can use the relative peak or hold zero buttons to adjust the value. Once set, press the range button and the value will be saved for that preset. Once the desired source is selected, press the Max Min LS button and the meter is ready to measure using that selected light source. The meter's default range is Auto Range. To switch to Manual Range, press the Range button. Each press of the button increases the range and returns to the lowest range when pressed in the highest range. To return to Auto Range, hold the range button. To show the maximum value recorded, press the Max Min LS button and the display will show the maximum value recorded after pressing the button. Press the button again to switch to minimum display and the display now shows the minimum value recorded since switching to the minimum display. Press the button a third time to return the display to normal. To hold a value on the display, press the hold zero button and the display will hold whatever value is currently being displayed. Press the button again to release the hold. To calibrate the meter, put the sensor cover back on and hold the hold zero button. The meter will take several seconds to calibrate. Once finished, the meter will beep and the display will return to zero. Remove the sensor cover and resume measurement. To display a relative measurement, press the relative peak button. The meter stores the value displayed when the button was pressed and then displays the current measurement compared to the stored value. To return to normal measurement, press the relative peak button again. Peak measurement is used to capture the maximum instantaneous luminance value. This differs from max display mode because peak mode increases the sample rate above the normal rate to give a more precise maximum instantaneous measurement. To enter peak mode, hold the relative peak button and the display will show the peak instantaneous measurement. To return the display to normal, hold the button again. Note. Manual range is the only mode available in peak measurement. Thank you for watching this instructional video on the DSM-155. For more information on this or any of our other products, 
please visit our website at www.dawsontools.com.